Please wait a moment while we experience technical difficulties. In the event of a real emergency, you'd be notified to contact your nearest resource center. Laughing at all those preppers really didn't pay off. Hi everybody, welcome to a Gen Tea Tasting. Tonight, uh, I'm gonna end my evening in a very typical way for me. I love to finish the night with a wonderful choupoir. For me, it's a calming, relaxing tea, a great way to end my day. I'm super excited about tonight's choupoir. I'll be brewing this choupoir coin. Uh, it's a wonderful format. It's a little pressed cake of choupoir. I think it's gonna be great for traveling. I often travel with puar because, heck, it's made for that. And I'm really looking forward to brewing this. So let's get it into the teapot. Uh, I think this is also a great format for individual servings and it has this handy uh, crack in it which makes it really easy to break. In my case I need to do that to fit it in my teapot and I'm going to brew the whole thing but you could also put some of it away and brew it later. All right let's give it a rinse. Look at that gorgeous liquor, a deep ruby. Mm. It's got hints of wood. Mm. I'm getting some leather notes, some wood. Almost like dry hardwood though. Really nice. Yeah, the flavor echoes some of those aromas, some of the woodiness is coming through in the flavor. But there's a hint of spiciness in the liquor that I didn't get on the nose that's now coming through in the, in the uh, flavor. Mm. Mm. It's just such a calming tea in the evening. I find it just it helps me unwind and just relax. This mouthfeel is fantastic too. It's thick and luscious. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is a delicious tea. I'm really looking forward to uh, getting into the later infusions. I was also saying I was eager to travel with this tea, but it's worth mentioning that Puar is also super easy to store. Uh, you can check our website as well. We've got storage information, uh, where the tea is from, and uh, when it was harvested, all in the additional information section of our website. A little bit of sweetness starting to come out. second infusion I noticed the spiciness is coming to the front a little bit more. The leather and wood are still present in spades. Plenty of that rich mouthfeel. And I just have to try not to drool on my shirt and everything will be fine. I got a little overzealous with my slurp. Might even be a hint of mushroom in there. Mm. Mm. <laughs> 
really consistent infusions, really delicious. Still tracking, the spiciness is still tracking up a little bit. The wood and leather are steady. You can see, uh, if you've been following along with the infusion times at home, you'll notice that the first infusion was quite a bit longer than the second and third, which were pretty much in and out. And that's typical for any pressed tea. It's just got to loosen up. But look at the ruby red third infusion again, full, full bodied and thick. This tea is going to have some great legs, I can tell. And by that, I mean plenty of infusions. Uh, I'm not insinuating that the tea actually has legs. Mm. Mm. That woodiness is really uh, deepening. It's becoming less woody, it's blending in with the leather a little bit more and becoming kind of its own thing. Really nice, really nice transformation as we go through the infusions here. It's one of my favorite things about Gong Fu Brewing is that you see the progression of a tea over time. If you are brewing along at home, please, by all means, if you're brewing this tea, leave us a review down below on the website. On the bottom of the website page, we've got a spot for reviews. We'd love to hear from you what you think of the tea. Hot. Burn my tongue a little bit. Mm. Yep, I definitely burned my tongue a little bit. Oops. Too eager to get the tea in. Calm down. Mm. Wow. Really consistent. This tea is really consistent. Great. Still that wood, leather, a little hint of spicy, clovey something. Maybe not clove, but. I like that. It's still trying to come out. Wonderful. I'm getting mellow and chilled out as I sink into my evening tea routine. I'm well into my evening tea routine here. I think I'm on infusion seven or eight. I've honestly lost track. Uh, the infusions have obviously gotten a little bit longer, but the uh, liquor color, as you can see, is still really consistent. And the flavor is now, that spice and clove is coming out a little bit more, uh, well, a lot more present than in the early infusions, but it's just been kind of a slow transfer from the wood leather to the spice. They're all still there, they've just kind of switched spots. And uh, again, just the lovely thing about Kung Fu Brewing is that profile that you get to experience as you uh, sip the tea. All right, I'm going to wind down my evening session. It's been awesome sharing it with you. All the information about this tea is on our website, including simple Gung Fu brewing instructions. But remember, those are just guidelines. Adjust them to your taste. Your vessel will be different. How you like to enjoy your tea will be different. So don't feel like they're rigid. My detailed tasting notes are also there, but if you've tried this tea, please leave us a review. We'd love to see what your tasting notes look like. 
With that, I'm going to say, keep steeping.